Okay, hey everybody. So I'm recording this video live in my Facebook group, Earth Angels. I'm also recording it as a video to post on YouTube so you'll be able to watch it later. So today's video is about how to manifest anything in your life, okay? So that means like anything I'm talking about. Okay, so a lot of you have heard about manifestation, right? It's all over your social media, your social media. It's, it's in your face all the time and it can be a little bit confusing about how to actually do this, right? So I'm gonna break it down for you. Hi, Jolene. My new friend Jolene, uh, I'm going to break it down for you in really easy steps so that you're able to, so you might want to go grab a journal or a piece of paper because um, uh, this is really important stuff, okay? I'm combining a bunch of teachings from very well-known sources. So people like Bob Proctor, Joe Dispenza, Gabrielle Bernstein, Abraham Hicks, number one, okay? So I'm combining all of them and I'm going to give you a lesson on remembering how to manifest anything in your life. So this video is prompted because um, I'm at the gym. <laughs> okay, I'm not at the gym. <laughs> so this, I, this, this, this creation popped up because um, a lot of people, so I just did a big thing, okay? So I just launched a uh, retreat that will be held in Italy with a, someone who I'm working with um, who has come up with this beautiful dream of hers to, to run a retreat of a goddess energy, magical energy in Italy. Now, when I was asked to do that, I was like, well, oh, okay, that's, okay, uh, I'm usually the one who goes to retreats. And for a while now, I've been feeling like I'm the one who wants to, um, I should be creating them. And that's why my soul is like, I need to create, I wanna be part of facilitating a big retreat. And so, hey, why don't not go really big and start with Italy <laughs> instead of starting here in Northern Canada, maybe. <laughs> so let's start really big. Um, but when I realized that this offer, this opportunity came to me, it was actually a manifestation of mine from two and a half years ago, okay? So my manifestation was, I had written down many, 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 many times in a journal. Um, I want to receive a trip paid in full, um, flight paid for in a beautiful country um, that is free and it's a wonderful experience. Hi, Christina, hi, Carol. Um, and when she offered this, I was like, oh my God, this is a manifestation that came true that I wrote down in my journal as if I already had it and now it's happening, okay? So this, I, when, I, when I sit and you actually, when you actually sit and you think, you go, oh my God, the things in your life, you're like, you actually created that, okay? So I realized that I had created this opportunity with my techniques that I know how to manifest, okay? Um, so I'm gonna give you, that's just one example that prompted this video to be like, I gotta tell everybody how to do this. And I always talk about manifestation and if you've been following me for a while on my Cindy Minion page, you know that I've done quite a lot of videos on how to manifest. And this isn't like mumbo jumbo, it's not, it's not woo woo, which I really don't like that word. I try to stay away from as much as possible. Um, so, so these are the steps. I'm gonna give you the steps again, and I need you to know, because I'll try to give you more examples later on of things I've manifested to give you evidence that this is real, that this is something that you all can do, okay? So, if you wanna manifest, if you want to create something in your life, and again, I'm pulling from all the teachers, I'm pulling from my knowledge, I'm, I'm pulling from the universe and source and um, all the things that I know to be true, okay? very sciencey and I'm not a scientist so I'm not gonna explain the science part I'm just gonna explain it in a a vibrational energetic way which is all I know how to do and my Jeep yes I have manifested a Jeep as well yes <laughs> okay so the first step so get your journal out right now okay and you're gonna write this down okay so the first thing you need to do obviously when you want to create something in your life is you need to ask for it step one is asking so if you don't ask the universe for something specific that you want the universe does not know what to give you, okay? That being said, the more specific you are in your in your request, the more specific answer you will get, okay? So let me, example, so let's use, um, I didn't write the Jeep manifestation down. 
Uh, I did write down the trip paid in full. Um, okay, so as for something specific, so let's say you want some money. Let's, everyone loves to talk about money, right? And people have a hard time manifesting money. Uh, so, or some of us have, some people have a hard time manifesting money. So if you say you want some more money, you would just not say to the universe, hey, universe, give me some more money. Because you might walk down the street and you might find a dime on the ground. The universe gave you money. Dime is money, right? So you have to be super specific, okay? Right? So choose the amount, okay? So let's start with what is an amount that you would easily believe that you could manifest quickly, okay? So let's start with $100, okay? So writing down in your journal, I am receiving $100 or I... I am calling in $100 and then you can be more specific and say in one lump sum, okay? So if you say in one lump sum, the universe knows how much to give you and not scattered all around because you might get 25 from someone, you might get 75 over here, okay? So if you want it in one lump sum and you want it quickly, you gotta be specific and say in one lump sum as well, okay? So you have to be super specific in anything that you're asking for, whether it's money, um, a trip, a vacation, you have to really be specific, okay? Now, uh, let me think. I'm trying to think of an example of this. Uh, it works with anything, okay? And we're gonna get to the next step now, which is you have to believe that you already have it, okay? So step number two is you have to believe that you already have it because, and here's a sciencey part that I'm still not 100% sure on what the heck, how it works, is that uh, the universe basically doesn't know if you're being real with with it or not. So, so I mean, you can't trick the universe, okay? A rule also is that you cannot trick the universe with your vibration. And your vibration is what brings things to you. Your vibration, your emotion, what you're emitting is what the universe responds to, okay? We've all heard this before. So if you're asking for that $100 and you're believing that you're in lack and there's no way in hell that you're gonna get this hundred dollars, you probably won't get this hundred dollars, okay? So the key here is you have to believe. Now, believing is sometimes hard for us to do because we're so programmed to not believe this. We have our money stories from our parents and our childhood and our growing upness. Um, so we have these programs which are very strong blockers, especially if they're negative, <laughs> with these very strong blockers in place that are going to slow down or actually halt um, halt our manifestations or slow them down, okay? So it's really hard for them to come in when we have these heavy blocks in place. So you can override that. There is a way to override that. Uh, I'm not suggesting spiritual bypassing, but I'm, I'm suggesting a quick way for you to believe that you already have, sorry, my phone's being silly, uh, that you already, that you can believe in this. Okay, so we're gonna go with the $100 example okay so here is the way you do this so you have to believing and trusting and knowing with no doubt is a practice thing you need to do you have to practice the feeling of having this hundred dollars already okay slow down halt did the video stop both times uh oh <laughs> oh that's not good you have to watch the youtube video after okay so like I said, you can't trick the universe, but the universe doesn't know. If you're a really good actor, here's a trick. If you're a really good actor and you all can be actors, you all can act as if you have this thing, you actually can override a belief, okay? So my my learning with all these readings that I'm doing, I'm reading books by Joe Dispenza. Here, uh, right now I'm reading this book called Becoming Supernatural by Joe Dispenza, okay? This is a fabulous, fabulous book. Um, yeah, so Sophia says that when I said slow down or halt the video, stop both times, which shows you how powerful my words are, which words are a vibration, okay? <laughs> so here are some tricks to, to quickly override. So if you have a very strong belief that you cannot manifest this $100, which should be super easy peasy lemon squeezy for all of you, um, you can actually use your intention. Intention and strong emotion can actually override the circuit of you not believing you can have $100 right now or in a couple of days, okay? So first you're gonna ask, then you're gonna practice believing that you already have this. So here are some tricks that I've learned that really work for me when you're trying to show the universe, because if you 
show the universe with, with your vibration that, oh my God, I already have this hundred dollars. The universe must give it to you. It's a law, the law of attraction. Whatever your being, whatever your vibration is, is what is transported back to you. It's transferred back to you. It's like a boomerang, okay? So imagine you have this boomerang and you write down $100 on it, okay? So you're going to whip it out to the universe and what does a boomerang do? It usually comes back to you, right? It usually comes back. So if you can act as if you already have this $100, uh, oh, my video's